Hello, modern steaders. Today, we're gonna to be making chicken marsala, Gina's favorite. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be using some homemade egg noodles. But first, if you're like us, we hate going to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. It's a pain in the butt. We usually get frustrated and overwhelmed while we're there. And a lot of the times while we're there, we forget stuff. I hate frustrated, yeah, overwhelmed. We get overwhelmed, yeah, that's the better word. And then we forget stuff and we get home and we don't have what we always need. And we're not willing to go back. And we, yeah, we're, we don't want to go back to the grocery store. So this is one of the reasons why I'm excited, we're excited, I should say, about Thrive Food. We can have non-GMO foods sent to our house that we can order on the internet and then have them shipped here. And what's really great is for stuff that you don't use that much, that would have in your refrigerator that would go bad, now we can keep it in our pantry. Onions, we go through onions quite a bit, but we don't have to cut them and we're not crying. But this is a cool one, mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Gina loves mushrooms. I don't mind them, but normally we'll buy them. We'll use like a quarter of a cup of the mushrooms and they'll get stuck in the refrigerator. We'll find them a month later and they're like mush and nasty. So I'm excited for the mushrooms. Can I try some frozen ones? You know? Frozen mushrooms, those are nasty. Fro and then we tried frozen red and yellow peppers. Yes, okay. Those turn into mush too. And then we got some snacks. I'll have to try these later tonight. So we're not gonna get into all the dry food, but today we're gonna be using mushrooms and onions. And no, we didn't plan our shirts. What's that? Our shirts, we're not matching. Oh, we are matching. Kind of. Cla we're clashing doing. maybe? We're clashing yeah, and matching. Yeah. All right, let's get on with the chicken marsala. So to start, you're going to want one jar, two cups of Marsala wine. You're going to need five tablespoons brown sugar, three tablespoons cornstarch, one tablespoon lemon juice, one and a half to two cups of chicken stock. You're going to need one tablespoon garlic, two tablespoons, if you can find it, pasture raised, Kerrygold butter. It makes a huge difference. And then we're going to be using a quarter of a cup of onions or one sl slice of a diced onion. And we're going to be using one cup of sliced mushrooms. And we're going to be using some leftover chicken and egg noodles. Go! <laughs> Action! Oh, it's not open yet. Easy open. No can openers needed. And get the butter melting. We don't already have one. No, we used up all the other onions. I usually leave onions out of things because it makes my eyes really water, <laughs> and then I end up looking like a hot mess. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you. Yep. We're adding in a little bit of chicken broth. Tell me when. That's good to rehydrate our freeze-dried onions and mushrooms. If you're using regular mushrooms, everything else is the same except for the chicken broth. That was rough with those onions, huh? Yeah. Terrible. And then one tablespoon of garlic. You like your one oh. heaping tablespoon. So like That's good. For you? Yep, it's good for you. Got it. And we have two loaves of beautiful bread going oh, for yeah for oh, sandwiches yeah, this week. Fun. Another 15, 13 minutes. Right. Smells delicious. No, no, no. Oh, does it smell good? Uh oh, Pluto's jealous now. 
One of the nice things about cooking with freeze dried food is it's dried out, so you need to rehydrate it. And like we just got to rehydrate our mushrooms and onions with butter and garlic, so they're gonna just have more flavor. Mmm, it's gonna be delicious. Huh, you had a mushroom, how was it? Okay. It was yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Gonna add in our Marsala wine. Two cups. So that's the whole bottle? That's our whole bottle, yep. We're gonna need one and a half cups of our chicken stock. Oh. Watch out for Figaro. We're gonna use five and a half tablespoons of brown sugar. Yeah, he likes the layering away. He sure does. We need one tablespoon of lemon juice. Do it fancy. I can't see it. Your hand's How blocking you it. Want me to be fancy with yeah. My finger yeah, like that. Perfect. Drizzle it in. Mm -hmm. That's the action shot we were going for. Looks delicious. Excuse me, sir. Now we need to bring it to a boil. We want to keep stirring it. We want it to reduce by half of the liquid. So it's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes once it comes to a boil. We're using leftover pre-cooked chicken. If you don't have leftover chicken, now's the time you're gonna wanna start cooking your chicken. You're gonna want like small chicken breast strips or small chicken tenders, and just cook them up in a frying pan. We need that out while we That's a nice piece of chicken. It's mine. We're gonna use all of our leftover chicken. You can use four chicken breasts. Well, you can do whatever you want, really. Yeah, you can use as much chicken as you want for your family, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we do. We like What you eating? A salt cracker. A cracker? Yeah. They're trying to train the cat like a dog. Not Is it working, Livy's? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Nice. Oh, nice. 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 That's not nice. <laughs> now that the liquid is half reduced, I'm going to put the chicken on the side and make a pool of the liquid. <laughs> I'm going to take three tablespoons of cornstarch. Oh, wow. Made a mess. It's Gonna add three tablespoons of cold water to our cornstarch. It's like a science experiment. It's gooey. Drizzle it in the pool. I'm gonna mix that in good. It's gonna thicken up. We're gonna leave it on the stove for about another 10 to 15 minutes. Ooh, look how good that's thickening up already. Is it gonna be enough liquid? Oh yeah. I'm gonna turn it down to low. We're gonna preheat our water in our tea kettle.
Cook those for about three minutes and then dinner will be ready. Very hot. Is that enough? No. Don't be shy. Is that good? For now. For now until we have seconds. Yummy. You already had a taste of it. She did. She already had chicken in her mouth. Mm. Mm -hmm, that's delicious. It is. I think this is our best one yet. All right. I'm not a mushroom man, but I'm gonna go in for a mushroom. Is that a mushroom? If you don't want them, I'll take. Them. Good, yeah. Fine, they're very flavorful. They're very good. Fish out it is a mushroom. Mm hmm. Looks like a boot. A lot of people like making and cooking their chicken breast and then putting the sauce over the chicken. I just like coating everything in it and having small pieces of chicken and putting the egg noodles right in. Gives everything, I think, more flavor. How Look are at you? all the mushrooms. Why is the person that doesn't like them like this thing? Mm -hmm. It's just how it is. So, mm -mm. These mushrooms are good. I was going to say, these are the egg noodles you made. When did we make? Two weeks ago? Three weeks ago? Mm -hmm. I don't think it was three weeks. At night, the other one on Friday night. Go with some. Well, that was delicious. Mm -hmm. Worked out good, easy to make. We, we all enjoyed leftovers. it. We have leftovers for dinner one night. That should be even better leftover. It usually is. Tuesday. Tuesday. Sounds good. We already got dinner planned for Tuesday. Perfect. Right? Thanks for watching today's video. If you'd like to try Thrive's food, there's a link in the description down below. And we do make a commission off of it. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at one of the acres. Hey God, you want a home setting? Self-sufficiency and freedom. Bye. Bye. Bye.